Hello there guys, it's Tev1990 here, welcome back to today's video and uh, this is part one of a series of videos showcasing uh, film and TV vehicles uh, in GTA Online and in the story mode version um, this isn't a, uh, like a countdown of the greatest or anything like that um, I've just added numbers just to help the videos along and everything you know and uh, th these vehicles are the ones that I have and the ones that I found um, I am aware that there are quite a few more and I will be uh, showcasing them in future videos and also I am aware that there are some like film and TV locations in GTA and I will be uh, showcasing them in later videos as well so without further ado let's jump into it okay guys coming in at number one we have the motorcycle uh, ridden by uh, Steve McQueen in the war film The Great Escape I am aware that this isn't exactly like the motorcycle that was uh, he was uh, riding but uh, I've done my best to find something that looks vaguely like it and um, a fun fact for you about that film the chase sequence that Steve McQueen rode this motorcycle in wasn't actually part of the film uh, he was actually out for lunch with some of the film's producers and everything and wrote the whole sequence down on a napkin and showed it to them whilst out at lunch. Coming in at number two, we have possibly one of the most famous vehicles from this series of films. I am, of course, referring to the Aston Martin DB5 from James Bond. Uh, this car made its first appearance in, uh, I do believe it was Goldfinger, and has been uh, in subsequent films ever since. And I, as I've said, I do believe this is the most famous James Bond car of all time. Uh, it's instantly recognisable. This version isn't weaponised, but there is a version in GTA that can be weaponised. Coming in at number three, we are sticking with the James Bond theme, and we have the Lotus Esprit that was used in... Uh, I forget which Bond film it was now for the life of me. Um, but this is in GTA Online, and it is weaponised, as you're probably just about to find out. We have our two machine guns. And uh, obviously we have the, uh, the missiles and everything will be showcased in a second. Um, the actual car that was used in uh, the Bond films, I don't think, it, I think it, they couldn't quite class it as a fully sub submarine or something. I can't remember exactly how it went, but basically they ripped out the whole interior of the car and uh, put those slats over the windows and everything so that you couldn't see in but it gave the impression that obviously they were still in there and everything it was a fully submersible car but really all them slats were letting water in and the operator of the I think they called it I think, was it a submersible something like that was actually sat in scuba gear whilst operating the vehicle and everything <laughs> Okay, coming in at number four, this is one for the kids and the big kids. Uh, we have got, if you don't recognise that, kind of, then uh, you've been living under a rock, basically. This is basically the uh, amazing Hudson Hornet, or Doc Hudson, from uh, the Cars films. Uh, this uh, particular vehicle has been in uh, previous uh, Grand Theft Auto games. This is the Albany Hermes. Um, and in this... Uh, Obviously this current livery and everything, it does look remarkably like the Hudson Hornet, hence the reason why it is featuring in this video. And that shot does remind me of something from the cast film itself. So let's just take a moment just to admire it as it uh, strikes, strikes, yeah, streaks along this uh, very dusty lane. Okay, guys, we can't feature a Cars character without featuring the main man himself, Lightning McQueen. Oh, portrayed by Owen Wilson in the uh, films. Uh, this uh, particular vehicle is the Banshee 800R. It's one of the Benny's vehicles, I do believe. And uh, it, 
you can kind of see the resemblance with some of the uh, you know the livery on it and everything but it's not as good as obviously the previous one you know for the Hudson Hornet and everything but you can still tell it's supposed to be something like Lightning McQueen and uh, obviously uh, what better way to showcase Lightning McQueen to than to have him going round the small uh, town of Harmony in uh, Grand Theft Auto which is obviously on Route 68 which is meant to parody Route 66 and I am a big fan of the Cars films I will still sit there and watch them today and I'm not too far away off of my 30th birthday uh, there is to my knowledge one or two more characters that I could potentially um, make a video or put them in a video about um, one of them is a, a, one of the other very well known characters or one of the other very main characters and uh, the uh, the other one not so much well known but you, you will know him so uh, they'll be appearing in uh, future videos Okay, coming in at number six and sticking with the children's TV and film uh, vehicles, we have this one and we have our first clue as to what it is just about to come up. And then we have our second clue. Some of you may have already guessed this is the second clue. And if you haven't already got that, I am of course talking about the Mystery Machine, everybody's favourite crime fighting gang, Mystery Incorporated. Obviously, I haven't managed to get the colours perfect for uh, the van and everything but uh, I think it's still a, a decent job and everything there is a new version of this van just being released so I'll be having a look at that to see if I can update it any and uh, yeah but I think it's uh, pretty well I'd do. yeah looks pretty good And last but not least, the background can't, might give this one away slightly, uh, but we have, and that's definitely going to give it away I think, but we have RC from the Toy Story films. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this uh, particular vehicle in the past before obviously deciding to record this uh, these uh, video and everything. Just whacking up and down the beaches and up and down the hills and everything. It's a cracking vehicle to drive. And like I say, it looks exactly like RC from the Toy Story films. You know, you can't get any better than that, I don't think. Okay, guys, well, that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, like I said, that is part one. Uh, I am currently working on a part two to this video. Um, there are, I think, about four more cars from the garage where I've got all of those from. And I think some of the others... I've got tucked away in the bowels of like mid mid nightclub or something within GTA, so I'll have to try and uh, find them and everything at uh, some point. So uh, yeah, like I say, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, and because uh, I've enjoyed collecting these cars, you know, because of their links to film and uh, TV and everything, and uh, like I say. In future videos as well, I'm going to be looking at uh, like certain scenes from films as well. There's two that I'm aware of. Um, I'll have to do some digging, uh, see if I can find any more. But uh, the first one, or oh, well, I'll say the first one. One of them, it is kind of, but it's not at the same time. But if you know the film, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. So, but we'll leave it there for now. So, once again, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.